Hey everyone, happy Monday. How are you all doing? Did you all have a great weekend? I hope you did. This is the front of the spooky mansion. Now, obviously, we have done a lot of path work, so I have connected it up with our pumpkin patch, and honestly, we are now past the point of Halloween, but I am not finished with this big build. Obviously, the roof is still slowly converting over. The, the copper is oxidizing, but we have a, a big room that I have not touched yet. And let me get my armor back on. I need one of those mods that kind of takes it, like, makes it invisible. We still have a lot of stuff up here that we need to fix, but I have been working up here on our second level, and I have now made a staircase that leads up to the attic and put a door in here to the master bedroom. I have also done a little bit of work over here in the bathtub area. Obviously, I still have a lot of work to do there too. But what I really want to concentrate on is the tower. So the spooky tower and, and the attic. So I have started putting a few things around, some carpets on the floors, some crystals, like there's some kind of experiments going on. Might put a table or something here in the middle. I have not decided yet. But up here, I have completed the ceiling, but I'm still trying to debate on what to do. I like the Enrod look, but I might do something else with it. And then, of course, leading into our big attic space. And this is what we're going to work on today and concentrate on, because I, what I would really like to do is make a large storage room up here. So we have our storage room in our in our main adventures guild, but it's not huge. So if we come on down here real quick. The adventures guild up on our hill there does have quite a bit of storage, but you know what? If we're going to live down here in the mansion, or at least, you know, allow other people to live in the mansion, we should have a nice storage room too. So what I am planning on doing, hello puppy, we need a name from this pupper, um, is to get all, a whole bunch of storage chests and organize it and maybe make it a little kind of spooky. And I've also brought, finally brought an enchanting table here. And then it is a level 30 enchanting setup. I, I, I just love this. I love this room. I still need to get some things on the floor, some carpets, or something along those lines. But what do you guys think? It's, it's really coming along. But I think what we need to do upstairs is to really like concentrate on these colors and I'm thinking we might even see if this warped blocks might do something for the ceiling. So we're going to take some of these to make some chests and just sort of play around with the design upstairs. Now as I said I built two and I'm pictures on the walls. There's all sorts of stuff that can be done up here. But I just love the look of this. So let's get ourselves a crafting table. But you know, what what a room is not complete without a crafting table. Any any storage room, obviously. And I think my thought was is that we could do some kind of warped block kind of display maybe like that to separate it let's actually let's put it in the corner because we aren't going to be able to put too much in the corners there we go so if we put things in the corners and eventually all this will turn and we can either decide to leave it there or we can cover up all this area with the warped block and give it some kind of different coloration 
I don't know, maybe. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> so my thought was, let's, let's get a whole bunch of chests. Twenty-nine chests. Let's see what it would take. So I kind of brought it out one. And I will say all of these blocks are stairs. The way we did it. So if we do just like this. Yeah, I don't like how it double layers it. But we could do it something like this. Be, they could be single chests, or you can make barrels out of it, or something along those lines. I'm not sure yet. Yep. Mm, I kind of like that. I like that. And then what we could do, I could do is, is run something lit in behind them or put more of the work blocks in behind like that and then we're gonna get that color two-tone color yeah I like that there we go and again we could like do it however we want we can kind of come in here it's not like that though All right, give me my chest. <laughs> there we go. That'll give us lots and lots of storage, and we want to do that all the way around the whole place. We can even, like, seal it off in the corners like that. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot. And then we could always come back and put some other signs and some other colors in here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into a time lapse mode here and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Hello everyone and welcome back to our beautiful storage room. What do you think? We have our beautiful chandelier. I might still do some things with it, but I'm pretty darn happy with it. Looks really nice and obviously as you can tell even from uh, the time lapse video, I have added some extra things into the room. And that includes, we put an ender chest up here, made a little table with a little mushroom, added in all of the item frames. I have gotten rid of the shulker monster that you would have seen in the time-lapse video. And we started kind of organizing this giant room. And as soon as the last of the copper oxidizes, I think it's going to look really good up here. It looks a little bit like a circus tent at the moment because of the striping with the copper, but that will go away. And obviously, I might still do some things with the chandelier. It looks awfully modern for this build, but at the same time, it lights everything up really well, especially since we added all of our... Our, our lights around behind the chest. I don't have any torches anymore. We added in a whole bunch of nice uh, different kinds of smelting and we've got all of our crafting stations. Well, I need to put more crafting stations in here, come to think of it. I do have a loom. I do need a smithing table. I guess we could get one of those. Let's see here. Do we have enough 
stuff for oh yeah there it is smithing table so we can actually add that in i always like to add just little cool workshops and stuff and you know what the smithing table is actually something we could use now i have not shown you guys on a video but i have been busy <laughs> collecting netherite scraps because you know what we, we really need to do something about this armor, and I need to do something about the tools. That is the reason we have a sheep farm up above in uh, the Adventurers Guild. And I will show you that very soon. The large amounts of uh, the, the big mining project that I've got going in the nether. It, it took me a very, very long time to get the scraps that I did. But we got the gold to go along with it, and I want to just share it with you here. We're going to do our four netherite ingots, and I went and got all of our tools ready to go. This is Efficiency 5, Fortune 3 on breaking, 3 in mending, and I always go with a little lower for a silk touch, um, just because. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to convert both of these, and then probably... Yeah, probably our diamond leggings and our tough as nails chest plate. And then we'll have to go get some more tools. So let's take these off. We're going to netherite ourselves up here. I think it's about time. I think I need to upgrade here. Perfect. And of course, our Fortuna. It's time to go and Silky Sylvie. It is time for our beautiful netherite tools, and let's suit up. How do I look? Ooh, purple and shiny. I love it. Obviously, we have to go back to the nether, and that's kind of a clue to what we're going to do next time. Obviously, we have not gone on an adventure in quite some time, and I do apologize for that. I got so caught up in all of our all of our building and putting in all of these different little tweaks and extra things. As you notice, things have changed a little bit since I brought you here last time. I have added in some paintings around. We have added in a little staircase closet, which I need to do some things with. We have added in some curtains using banners. A little bit of touch-ups here and there, and now there's a double access to the bathroom. I still need to fix up the toilet and maybe put in a cauldron here, but we do have a mirror to look into. And there is a tap for our bathtub. We also have a little dressing area over here in the corner, a hook to hang our clothes next to the closet. And I, oh gosh, I still need to fix the, fix that. But as you can tell, I have been a little bit busy, but we've been putting in clocks and other things in through here. And if we go downstairs, I have not really touched that, but we have put in some more paintings down here, made things look a little more lively downstairs. I have put in a grandfather clock, which I'm still deciding on. I'm not sure about yet, but I do like the skull. I'm, I'm, I think it's just a touch to kind of give you a feel of the area. Also added a little bit of a rug down here. And, you know, the kitchen's coming along. There's, there's little bits and pieces, and you're going to probably see the changes all along as we go. Because there's always new things that I see and figure I can add to these builds. Now, I'm still needing to do more into this room and more up here so that is something for a future video but i believe we should go on an adventure next and i think getting some more netherite to be able to finalize all of our pieces of armor and our zombie slayer sword is what is in store for next week so i really do hope that you enjoyed this quick time lapse video as I said, I apologize for not doing that, not like uh, going on adventures. That is what the purpose of the Adventures Guild is, and I have lost track of that. 
because I enjoy being at home and in real life I spent a lot of time at home and also going on my own adventures so it was just easier to stay in one place for these videos during October. So thanks so much for coming and watching this build and I will see you next Monday. You have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye everyone! Thank you.